Hey, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Dewar, five minutes. Uh, thank you, Chair, and thank you to our guests. Um, Mr. Chopper, quick question. Um, was the conference board uh, study, it was, it was something you were aware of, obviously, because you do work for the conference board? I don't work for the conference. No, you do work for the, you have done work for and, and do work for the conference board from time to time, is that correct? No, I volunteer in an as unpaid director. position okay. as a okay. director. Okay, so you're aware. A not for profit organization. Right. And, so. and as uh, a director of the conference board, you were certainly aware of the work they were doing on behalf of Canada Post, I would assume. The actual operations of the corporation uh, or, or the. But were you aware that this report was being done for Canada Post, yes or no? As, of course I was aware Thank of you. this. Uh, the second question I have regarding that is that you came out with this, what I found incredible comment about how robust your consultations were. Sir, most Canadians had no clue. 46 communities, hundreds of articles, um, and I'll tell you, a f fail. No one knew you were doing this work in a, in a robust way. So. What we have here, according to your report, your consultation, which you then have a report from, suggests that everyone was happy to pay more, do with less. I'll tell you, Teresa Reed, who lives down the street from you and is a constituent of mine, phoned me and said, Mr. Dewar, we have to do something. I can't live with this. I would like you to meet her. I would like you to meet the people who are directly affected because what I'm getting here is we have a report, your consultation report, sir, says here that all great quotes about how wonderful this would be if we just had everyone else do with less, if we paid more, and this would all be great. Did you have no negative comments in your consultations about some of these things? And if so, I would like to know all of the data and could you please present that data to this committee because what I have in this consultation report is not capturing what certainly we're all hearing in our writings. Can you please submit that you, information you to this committee? You are absolutely correct in saying that there are going to be difficult choices made. Which no, I'm is saying what did doing. you capture that in your report, and, yes or no? And there are, there are Canadians who said, of course, they would like to do, uh, th there are always competing needs of Canadians that we're trying to balance. So there are Canadians who said they would prefer certain options, and there are Canadians, like for example, Canadians said they would like so alternate day delivery, and they would prefer to keep, and, and with regard to your pricing question, um, I, I think it's important to understand that pricing... I didn't have a question on that. I said, can you please, and I'm just asking you a very specific question, yes or no would be nice. Will you submit the data from all of your consultations to this committee so people can look at it? Yes or I no? I think we have provided a, a summary of the data that That's we collected. No? Is that no or yes? We have, we have provided enough analysis so no. okay. on, the, on the... That's unfortunate because I think you should be providing all the data to this committee. I'm asking you formally, sir, to do that. I want to go on to another question, sir. You have in, on page 20 of your five-point plan, impact, uh, why cha this change is necessary. What Canadians expect from the postal system is, changed, is changing dramatically. That requires equally dramatic change in its size, structure, and direction of Canada Post. Future success will require a leaner workforce. Uh, how many vice presidents do you have in your organization, sir? We have a total of 22 between... Uh, it's not 23? Group, okay, group, 20. president, group presidents and uh, yes. vice presidents. Yes. Will there be any changes there? Absolutely. How many? The exact same proportion in which we will adjust our workforce. How many we will, will be reduced? We will have the same percentage as the percentage of workforce. Why, why after um, last year was it considered appropriate when there was such a downturn in revenues that you found it um, acceptable to give bonuses to yourself and to others? Um, we do not have a bonus plan that is driven by an entitlement of uh, Did you receive a bonus last year, yes or no? Uh, my information is all publicly available. So did you or not? I, this is a very simple question. My, my information is publicly available. Did on you the, receive a bonus last year? My information is publicly you did, available. Sir. It was 33 percent of your salary. I can tell you, sir, Teresa Reed is on a fixed income. She does not receive extra. She's barely getting by. What I think I'm trying to convey to you, sir, this isn't about having a participation program at Brampton. It's not about giving extra keys to people. This is about really consulting. We're in the business of representing citizens. I have people from anti-poverty groups in my riding who don't know what to do because you know what? They're clients. Deborah Dines, I can take you to that social housing complex 
and you will see a woman there who's working her tail off to help marginalized people. She wrote me a very detailed long note that I will be giving to you, sir, and I want you to come with me and talk to her and explain to them when they don't have access to technology in their homes, how this is going to help them. How it's going to help to, because, you're sir, time, I don't Mr. think Dewey. you're doing your job, and I don't you're think, at, with respect, you deserve a bonus. Mr. Dewey, I, I, I realize these are